from stamping on the back porch. <laughs> It's Karen. Uh, trying something new today. I've never done this before. We're trying to do this on um, YouTube Live. And other than the game shows that we do now and then, I haven't done much with YouTube Live. So I thought this would be a fun way to do it. So we are doing a class and I'm using three different stamp sets but doing the same four card layouts with each. So the idea behind this is just taking simple card layouts and making it fit anything that you have. So you are welcome to follow along and use your own stuff. I put up a supply list over in the back porch stampers and some people even ordered the card kits. So they're making two of each card along with me. But I was suggesting to people, you could just grab your DSP paper to go with that and even choose your stamp sets later. So this will be fun. And I will put in the link below where you can get the PDF with all of the finished cards and all of the measurements and everything. So for now, you can either stamp with me or settle back and enjoy. I am going to use four layouts, as I said, and I'm going to be using three different stamp sets. So it's just going to show. I'm actually going to be creating today with this one, the Freezing Fun. But I'm going to be showing the very same cards made with, oh, made with, press on which really doesn't need to be you know these don't none of these I'm, I'm calling it holiday cards class because they're out of the holiday catalog but none of these are really necessarily specific Christmas that pro except probably the gnome one which is coming up right here okay so we will get started Tim is trying to pull this up so that I can actually see comments <laughs> So, but he's working on this since we're not used to doing this it this is way. September 22nd, it shows you're already doing something. No, it has to be, um, give it to me and we'll figure this out, you know, because otherwise I won't see comments and then there's no purpose in being live, right? Uh, so let me see. We just want to go, we don't want to go. Okay, so we want to go here, but... <laughs> this is going to be really interesting, you guys. We are going to go here and see if I can come up live. I won't know if I'm live. If we can't find it. Because it says on the thing that we're live, right? Oh, that is interesting. Did you mean yes? Karen, I did mean that. Hmm, this is interesting. Do I have a class or do I not have a class? It's not that one. No, these are all my recorded ones. Um, yeah, you have people coming up. Oh, I have people coming on. I, so, so we have to figure out how we okay. reach this to find comments, or this is going to be pretty boring, one-way conversation. I'll have nothing to react to. But there are people coming on, so mm -hmm. we'll assume it's working. I'm going to let Tim, the tech guy, <laughs> which he is not, try to figure this out. Maybe it'll be easier in my computer to bring it up. I hear the phone ringing, and maybe that's somebody calling to tell me how to do this. This happens frequently when I'm teaching a class and I can't figure it out. So we're just thrilled that you guys put up with us. Either that or it's my mom. She tends to always call during these. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Do you think your mom can help you? Oh, was it my mom? Yeah. Okay, she, she always calls when I'm on live. It's just pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to just... Okay, I'll get your computer. I'm just going to get the computer and keep... So I'm just going to... I'm just going to babble on until uh, he uh, says something. Now, on these cards, I didn't really give the measurements for these. I just wanted to uh, say I'm using three of these as accents. So this is just a little tip. You know, I like to pick things where I can put a variety of things through on the big shot. Instead of just cutting this through all the time on my die cutting machine, I will do a whole bunch of them. But whatever you use doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, you, and you can always pick the sizes of that later. I just wanted to point that out. Um, yeah, it's always stressful when tech doesn't work. So let me see here if I can see it on this, which is pretty interesting. I know that. Oh, That's okay. Right. Oh, it's live right there. Okay. <laughs> Tim said my thumbnail is great. The top part of my head. <laughs> we obviously don't know what we're doing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, 
I okay. mute that. Let's try this. That was mute. great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you know, if if I ever, I have to do things a little more frequently than every few months too. Once I learn something, so we'll see. I decide this is worth doing or not. But thanks for playing along with us. I'm thrilled. Hi to a bunch of you. Oh, good. I feel so much better knowing that you're with me. And like I said, afterwards I will. Put the link to the PDF with all of the cards and the instructions. So good. I am so glad. Okay. So we will go on. First card we're going to make. So that was just my little hint for doing that. Uh, is this fun little drop down card. So it goes like this and then it drops down. So you'll write underneath. And thought, but isn't that fun? Oh, now, now we have it on the other no, two. But, but this is good. I think this is probably easier for me to read. So this is a card I'm going to make while we're sitting chatting. I want to show you both of the other cards. So that's what this idea is. So as you're looking at this, think of all the stamp sets that you own. <laughs> Anything that's going to fit on something like this. So it was fun to look for three stamp sets that kind of had images around these sizes that we could play with. Okay, so we'll put this down and we will create. Picture froze. Oh. <laughs> you got an L, L on your forehead. You know what that means? Um, yes, it did freeze. Did it freeze for anyone else? Oh, no. Okay, it's just at our end. Oh. True. It's just at our end, so we're okay. Okay. I think this will be. But you can Okay, so this is a basic Z fold. So we've cut our paper. Four and a quarter by 11, the long way. And then we're going to score it in half, like that. And then you're going to take the front and score that a half. So this is five and a half, so this is going to be two and three quarters. And when we fold that back, this is our Z fold. Now, usually I do Z folds uh, more frequently this way. So they open this way. <laughs> the phone keeps ringing. Oh, I said this is, this is really interesting. But just for a twist today, we're doing it this way where it comes down. So it's not fun, just a little bit different. Now also visualize this. If you picked like a brighter designer series paper, because this could be for anything, uh, different colors in here, you're going to have a totally different look on your card. Okay, so I'm going to pull out the rest of my pieces. So I'm also using that um, the Snowflake Designer Series paper and just using different pieces here. So uh, first I'm using most of the words. Each of these stamp sets also has a bunch of words, so it was fun. They're each using their own. And I have to tell you a story here. It's always story time. I had this class scheduled for a week ago sent out the class packets to those that ordered them, but we've had such issue with the mail. I was just insecure whether they'd get them. So I delayed the class, put all my supplies in a place where they'd be easy to find. And then today I had no idea where I put them. Thankfully I have these parts, but so I hope some of you can, I couldn't find the other two stamp sets or I couldn't find the stamp sets. That's all I was missing, but I meant to put the stickers on. I don't usually use them like this. This was in a hurry when I was designing this, but I know that there's a few of you that can relate to me. Okay, and then for this, because I'm going to be coloring with blends, we're going to use the memento pad. Now on my memento pads, I actually put in the bottom stamp and blends. So that's just another tip. And then under the stays on, I will put uh, blender pens, watercolor, you know, so if you ever are trying to remember which black ink goes with, with which, this is just an easy way. And memento is also what I use anytime I just want a plain blank black ink. If I'm not going to be coloring it, you don't even have to worry about it. Then I always use this just because it's easier to clean. But when I use the blends, that's my little notice to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do, just letting you know, Tim is still working on the tech part. So I really can't see any comments yet, but keep, keep sending them. I'll go back if I can figure this all out. Okay. So here are my words. He's not sure, sure. So just put it here and we'll live with what we get. We're kind of good at that. And I always like to say we as crafters, you know, we learn to be pretty adaptable. You don't have one thing or you can't find one thing. 
you substitute another. Marilyn says they're in a safe place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just glad I had these, the ones I was going to use, because I, would, I couldn't have done the class if I could find the others. So I put the others all back in their stamp sets, the cases, and I just don't know. They'll show up today as soon as I'm done. You know how that goes? And then on this part, I just wanted to show that this is... So for here, I wanted to do these three, and I want them to all fit on here. So I could stamp these one at a time, but what I like to do is just arrange these and then I could do a whole bunch of these. I'm just going to arrange these as I want them to be. Saves a lot of time. And there, they all fit in my block. And now I will do these. So look how quick that is. So now we have that one done. The stays on ink there is a special cleaner to do this stays on ink. I don't, you know, it stains. I don't personally care if it stains as long as it's clean and I can still put it back in a pastel color. So uh, that, so yes, I'm totally fine with, with the chamois with that too. I don't know, other people might have other opinions, but I really don't care if my, like if I use these and stays on, they would just stay black even when they're clean. I don't care as long as they're clean. You know, I'm not, I'm not that concerned about keeping my stamps just totally totally clean and I'll do a little bit of coloring I won't do all of the coloring but I just picked out of this paper is where the blends come from so I have dark purple posy and I think I have light I think I have yeah so I have I have purple posies pool parties and balmy blue and on this, I just quickly colored, but as long as we're just kind of taking our time here, I thought I'm going to take the dark and go around the outside on this one. I'm going to do a couple of different things. And then I'm going to take the light. So if you like doing, you know, playing with your blends, it's going to be a little different. And then you can, the more you kind of squeeze them together, the more they will kind of make a shade. Now that doesn't show up too well. Let's try another one here. Let's try dark balmy blue and see, this isn't, very big space and so it's probably a little harder to say but watch this if I do this just down the side there and then I'm going to kind of let the shadows and I bring in now move to the light so who here loves to color with blends I said I just love blends now I'm going to color this in I could leave some white spot too for sun but we're not doing this as a major art thing today but I don't know if you can kind of see here how we have darker and light so you can take your time and make things you know pretty shaded let's try the board here this is a snowboard uh, we had a son it's story time <laughs> I like to tell stories where I stamp so you guys I was teaching a class this was years ago I did everything in home and so I had a bunch of women over Tim was not home, it was just me, and I get a call from the, our regional ski place saying that my son had <laughs> taken a fall and broken his collarbone. So we had just settled down to stamp, and I had to send everybody home and go pick up my son. Thankfully, that's all. It wasn't anything more, but it kind of ended that season for a while, but I always remember that because those are not the calls I told them you want to get. We have five kids, so we got plenty of those... Uh, Needing stitches, broken bones, ah, and a few through those, as long, long as they're fixable. Okay, I think here you can see a little more. You can start seeing how some of the shading is there. Then if you have a color lifter, which I do not have out here, if I wanted to have some of it be even lighter, I can go over it with that to show some shades. I wasn't going to do a lot of coloring because it's such a small part here to, to show, but since we have time, we'll try one more here. This is going to be the dark pool party. A lot of you... Yes, there is a stays on cleaner and we have that. Um, so here's my honest opinion. When, when my when stamps retire and I am ready to sell them, I clean them with the stays on cleaner so they look better. <laughs> but in between, I don't. I just figure if they're clean, they're just fine. <laughs> so I, I just might be that lazy stamper. Okay, so... Okay, I'm going to do the same here of doing that, the darker and then the lighter. We are having, it's like summer here. It's the first day of fall, but we're welcoming it with summer. 
How about you guys? And I know some of you are dealing with lots of rain. Some of you are dealing with fires and just a lot of hard things. I don't know if you can totally tell that, but oh, I'll go back and do, do this part. But just so you can just take your time coloring. I like to color at night. So if I'm making cards like this, I make a whole bunch of things that I'm going to color and then I sit in the evening and color. Does anyone else do that? And on this, I am using the just these colors. So I'm not really, okay, we'll do this with the trees, but that's kind of the way I like to color. This one, I'm not gonna worry about shading. I'm just gonna put in some color. I think this particular set and just, well, all these little sports things make just great winter cards for birthdays or also cards for kids. And anyone who likes to do active, active things, it's pretty fun. Oh, Barb said it's beautiful now up, up in the Pacific Northwest, no smoke. I read that, that you could finally be outside and not worry about the smoke. That is something to celebrate here. And Kathy was in Oregon, said it's cloudy there and they're welcoming rain to help with the fires. Yes, but the smoke, you know, it's interesting when you watch, when they show that on the news and stuff, how all the air drifts, you know, how all things work. I said, it's really quite fascinating. Okay. So now we're going to put these on. So the measurements for these, I have to look at my little cheat sheet here. These are all, these are all four inches wide because this is four and a quarter. So we're just going a quarter short. And then one is one inch wide, one is three quarters, and one is one half. So when I'm going to put these on, Let's see, I'm going to flip them over. I think I want these sides. I'm, I'm, I'm never positive. Okay, I will go ahead and put my adhesive on first. Okay. So if I'm going to do three and I want them kind of equal distance, I will start with either the bottom or the top. I'll save the middle one for last. Oh, I didn't realize I got a little extra there. Okay, goes on, and then I'm going to put my top one because then I can eyeball the middle one and however it goes you know then that way you don't have to be really exact either so see how easy that is and then I'm just going to put a little oh, I think I'll use my right there put that up put this in the middle 80 degrees in Iowa. Oh, I know. It's uh, it's that here, too. It's like a summer day. I have to get outside after this. And then I'm going to attach this. And just by the bottom. Otherwise, I have a very thick postcard. So are some of you sitting outside? See, that's where I would be if I were, if I were watching. I would just... And I'm going to put that on. And we have this fun little drop-down card. I This is such a useful... A fun little card. Okay, if you want another little little tip here, if I put a little thing here, like I could do a snowflake, because you know we dwell in a lot of possibilities. I could put that here and have it stick out, and then my card would stand up more. Oh, I guess it'll stand up this way too, but it would close. It's just another way of closing something. So just just adding details. We will okay, and then once again we'll look at the other two. So this is with press on. You know you. Can't go wrong with coffee cups. And notice how with each of these sets, I'm using different stamps from within the set. And then I am adding some snowflakes. And I guess I didn't add that to that card, but you can see they're there. Okay, the next one we'll do is going to be... Oh, I, I love, even now when it's hot, because I'm not a hot weather lover but I love this I love a warm day and a cool night and when, when it's just you know comfortable being out I just love that so this is our very popular what we use forever uh, flip and fold kind of cards and notice on this one I didn't have it wasn't a long it went sideways so we just reversed the card but it's the same it's the same layout which is really cool so for this one I'm just gonna pull our pieces out And of course, if you have your envelopes handy, you could decorate the envelopes with these little pieces too, which would be fun. 
Now to do this one, Um, I don't think I really, this must be just for the inside because I don't really see that I use that, but here's going to be my flip and fold. So I must be just be thinking about the inside, but so it's just a little extra. We're going to do this first. Now, if you'll notice, I left my paper longer here, you know, so 12 by 12. So it's really easy to do it. So typically this piece right here is five and a quarter by four. So it's a quarter inch down. And then this would typically be three and three quarters by five. I left this longer because sometimes when you tear, if you end up wanting to go on an angle, well, let's, okay, I want to go on an angle. Okay, so let's say I want to go on an angle. And do you see if I did that and wanted to flip them, I'm going to need, here I've got plenty of overflow, here I don't. So it was just kind of an interesting, it just gives you that extra, then it's not gonna matter how you fold, if that makes sense. So then to do these, I'm going to put one on first and I will just put that on where you can see, I'm going to leave that quarter inch fold right there. You can also do this as a straight angle across. I do them both ways. You know, you could cut your papers like this, but since we, you know, so it kind of doesn't matter, but the, I really liked the tearing because it sort of fits with the the snowy flake, you know, just having these little, I like this little piece of white showing. So that's why I did that. But this is how this will go on really quickly. Okay, I have to put my handy dandy holder right here and my cover in the base. Tell me if that size, well, I guess it won't matter. I'm, just, I'm still trying to learn how to use these. <laughs> put it in there. And uh, this is really a deep snowy hill here. But now think of this background. So now this one is done the very same way, but now it's just done the other way. And I'm using the soft, the light colored part here on, on both to decide I'm, where I'm going to put the words. So this is Tis the Season to be Freezing. So I'm going to put that right on here and if for any reason it didn't go on very well this just becomes very easy you can or if you get it too crooked I'll live with that but it's crooked but you see I could just put that on a piece of paper punch it out and add it right there so you know n no worries it'll work just really well for that and then this is just done the same way I put my two stamps right on one One block, I guess that one got, cur oh, well, this is going to have a lovely little, I think I'll, I'll redo this one, but I'll just show this. Oh, maybe it'll be okay. What I wanted to point out about the coloring on this one is just this time, you know, you don't always have to color everything in. And I just thought this was a perfect stamp to just go around and just add a little color. And I just want the light one. Yep. I'm just doing the light pool party around around the edges, kind of accenting, but but uh, leaving him mostly white, which is just kind of a fun look too. And you could do all kinds of different ideas. And then I do use my color lifter a lot. I like to kind of go over, there's a bunch of dots like that, I'll add a little more color, um, kind of to blend it in. But I just kind of like that accent where it's sort of an accent, but not, no. I got too many sharp lines. So then we'll go over with a little brush. Just smooth it out a little. But I think blends are so fun because you just kind of feel like an artist playing with them and there really isn't any right or wrong. You can just kind of make it however, however you want it to be. And then I colored the hat and put that on. And he's popped up on dimensionals. So how easy is that, class? There's a PDF for the files over in the back porch stampers. When this is over, I'm going to swap that out for PDF with all the pictures and the step-by-step -step, so it'll be even more thorough so you can get that now but you might want to wait and then um, get it it's going to take me five minutes after this to get that uh, to get all the links right you know you you would think I'd know how to do it I was working on it but I didn't quite get it done <laughs> okay so these are all this card yeah so don't stress if you don't um, 
But what I love about these four card layouts is they're all very easy and they're all very fun. You know, you'll just find yourself using them kind of for anything. Okay, so here's the next one. Yes, everything. Yes, so somebody was asking that. Yes, I will put the link to where you get uh, all, all of uh, where you can just go download. Uh, I'll figure out the easiest way to do that so you can just go get a download. I think I know how to do that, but I have to do it. So here's the next one. Another card layout I use all the time. Sometimes we do a card layout like this and then this part sticks out over the end. This we're just using pictures. And so again, we've got different papers. So for those that ordered the card kit, when we have these papers, each one of them has two different papers. So this is kind of showing that. So for two reasons, both so that I can make more use of, of the DSP, but also so that we all can. So that you see the same card switching up your paper. So you would end up making two cards and one will have this background and one this one. But I think, you know, they're just so fun and all the colors fit. This one I have forgotten the little piece inside. Okay, so for this one, and you will notice how this can be varied. Whatever you're going to work with works just fine. So this time we will take these pieces. <laughs> yeah, Julie says all the images complement the paper, which is so gorgeous you don't want to cover it up. You know, you're right. And in all these designs, so when I, the supply list, I didn't show the actual papers. I might have, I don't even know if I said what I was using, but you know, all of this comes out of the colors I'm using all comes out of the designer series paper because all of these really do accent that. And that's a really good point because really in making these, just start with your paper. What do you feel like working with? And then, you know, your stamp set and your colors will all go with that. And that's why we're using these colors of blends. But if you're using a different paper, you're just going to use another. You could also be using bold stamps. So, you know, be creative. You don't have to use line stamps and color them in. You might be doing these all with florals, you know, solid florals. And it, then again, you just want it to coordinate with your, with your paper. So, you know, it's all good. <laughs> so to make this card, it's pretty fun because the back of the card is a quarter sheet of paper. So this is five and a quarter, five and a half by four and a quarter, basic card size. And then the one piece down, and I just wanted to show this because again, you're going to get two, two colors at any of these sides that you could use on, in your paper. Okay, so we're going to use this one. And so this is a quarter sheet down, and this is five and a quarter by four. So I'm going to put this on. And see, you know what? I'm going to use this side just because I can, you know? That's what's just really cool about this. We can just make them all different. So the fun thing is if you're going to sit down and make a series of cards like this, they can all be a little different just by using a variety of the papers in your pack or just a variety of pack papers that you picked. This piece now is going to be, you know, this is four and a quarter. I said, so this, can, this is the size of a paper. So this is going to be eight and a half. This is the full, this would be the part of the card. This is full size card, but just cut off. So this is eight and a half. And I believe this one is cut to two and three quarters, but it'll be on the thing. But keep in mind, this width doesn't really matter. You would really start with your image. So you're going to want an image that's kind of smaller and some kind of plan for putting it on. But just know you have some leeway in here. And then we're going to put one of these on the inside. So this is be where we can write. But aren't these easy layouts? And then it just helps to not get in a rut if you've just got a few that you can easily pull out. Now, for the people that bought the kit, they got two of each. And I like to say that on purpose because I like to say that too when you're creating. You know, if you make something you like, make another. Make so you have one to give and one to put in your idea box. Because, you know, then if you're just thinking, especially if they're things like card layouts, fun folds, anything that you might want to be reminded and come back to, then it's just there ready for you. So that's why I love to always say, make two cards, share one, keep one. So you're ready to give it away. And now this one, I just built the picture. I didn't put all this on one block because I really didn't have a plan. So I didn't, <laughs> I guess I didn't. But if I were going to make a bunch of these, oh, and this is kind of the same repeating, but these could all go on one block. I love the idea of putting things on one block because it just saves time and just kind of has it all planned out. 
I am using, um, these are just regular white. When I use a base card, I use, I, I use them interchangeably. I think today I'm probably using regular because these are not base cards. Whenever I have like, if this part were white, which it could be, then I would be using the thick. When it's on these parts, uh, a lot of times with these, I will use up scraps, so I don't care what it is. If I'm cutting from scratch and making a bunch, it doesn't need to be the, the thick. That's how I determine, so I certainly use both of them. I'm just going to make this guy coming down. So here we're just doing a picture, and we're going to put we down in the corner. Love using a bunch of the different words. Put that down there, and we'll put some snowballs. So I thought, you know, you can see what I picked were some stamps that have a bunch of images so you could just build pictures and stuff with them so that makes this kind of fun but you could do and I guess my tree was already used on this other so I'll move it over to another block just do a little rearranging and now we'll see if I can get my trees on relatively standing up otherwise they're just going down the hill okay now I'm not going to take the time to color this one in because um but I just wanted to show here again, I colored him the same way. I just love that look where you can just do some around the outside. So just get creative and think you don't have to do everything. You can just make, do whatever you want. And then you would set these aside. And then when you sit down to color, then you're going to just sit and enjoy all this coloring. Um, yeah, okay. So if some of you, uh, the new link where I'll put you to will be right on my website. I, I think you'll be able to just click there and the whole thing will download like things usually do. Uh, um, so uh, we'll figure that out. Let me know if you have any trouble once I post that and I, I will let you know. But I think it's going to be really easy to do it this way. I just have to, it's a learning process for me, you know. I uh, try something and <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll see what else. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, what else? And come back afterwards. I've had some trouble sometimes seeing, going back and finding the live chat, but I can always see comments. So leave comments on my YouTube channel too. That's awesome. I will, I will get back to all of them. And then this last one is not using designer series paper, but again, this is a layout I use all the time. I just love it. Look how simple it is. Now this could be designer series paper. What we're using instead this time is cardstock that's been embossed. But keep in mind this could this could be this. So again, use whatever you want. But this layout and this could be an oval. This could be any shapes. I'm using an, one of the nesting dies here, but when you look at things always Think of what else could I use or what do I have that I could use. The larger size oval would be perfect for this. But here we have it with the coffee. Coffee, press on. And the cute little, there's no place like gnome for the season. Now, sometimes I've done the same layout and I will have the an image here, words down here, and this will be a designer series paper strip. So... Think about you can change things, but I just love this idea where this is long and then there's something going across. So that really is the basic layout to that. Oh, good. Marb says she's loving all the layout. So, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll laugh at Claire. She says you totally overlooked this set. So she might have to put in an order tomorrow. So just, we do our best. <laughs> and, you know, like I was saying, I wanted to do things out of the holiday catalog and I wanted to find... Uh, I, um, three different sets that could be interchangeable. So I was looking for things kind of this size. Now do you see I could go through the main catalog and do the same thing and add some more stamp sets. And we could create a whole different color by picking different designer series paper. That's what I think is so fun about this. This is just kind of a universal idea of just trying things. So now this last one is really easy. So we have our parts and this one is, again, we have our full base card. And then this next piece is a quarter inch smaller. So it is four inches by five and a quarter. And it could be designer series paper. We've used the snowflake embossing, but in the same color family. You can see I'm just using the same colors so that the kit was more self-contained. And then this piece will have this cute little bunny 
So, you know, for skiers everywhere and just, you know, building snowmen, all this outside stuff. I thought, how fun is this? It gets really just a cute stamp set. And on this, and this piece is, uh, is uh, three fourths of an inch by four inches. So you can see it's going four inches across and then it's three quarters. And I based this on what would work for all of the words in all the different sets. So like the words I'm using here is right here. This could be thinner if I wanted to use one of the thinner words that I used in some of the other cards. So again, um, sometimes I just hate giving measurements for that reason. So I always say give measurements, but then alter them, you know, alter them to fit your needs because it, it isn't a, you know, this size came out of this stamp set. So if that makes sense. So it could also be a little larger, you know, it really could be anything. And then this guy's just colored in. <laughs> so I have, I have a little blue bunny. I just did a little blue again around the outside a little bit and these colors. And, and I don't feel like I need to sit here and I guess it's my own thing. I think you don't really want to sit here and just watch me stamp. So I'm thrilled to answer questions if we have any questions. I can still come back and color that. And these then I popped up. And then at the end I just went back and added some some snowflake images. So I'll put this across. Oh this glue holder is a gift to me from Ellie Spencer and I know you can get them on Amazon but it just holds my little isn't that fun? So it just holds it right there. She knew I'm trying to get used to this. I, I'm kind of a I've always used you know things that pull but this glue is so cheap and it gives you a little maneuverability when you put it down and I'm just really trying <laughs> doing my best used to it now I put it right here because I wanted to show those little edges there just because I think they're so cute oh he's really going downhill a whole different pace you know because you always want your cards to look quite different than the others so again to wrap up this time I'm just I'm going to show them let's show them by the stamp set so I think it's just fun because now here are going to be four cards and what's great about it is they all do look different and yet they're they're fun because they you can tell they're from the same stamp set, but they have different looks. And look at the variety of, oh, look at the, all these cute, it, cute, uh, we've got the sledding, the skiing, the snowboarding, and, <laughs> and then on the ice. So we have four different characters. I think this is just adorable and all the fun words. But look at those great ways. And any of these could go on any of the others too, as well as we're doing that. So Sharon said she loves the glue. So said, yeah, see, yeah. Uh, well, I think I, I am, I am getting attached to it. That's step one, right? <laughs> okay, and then let's look at doing universal. I mean, um, coffee cards can go forever. This is in the holiday catalog, um, but it will, does not need to be holiday at all. And we never know what's going to go, you know, be extended on, but I think what fun. So um, the different images, different words there, a cup of thanks. All you need is confidence and lots of coffee. Hope your day is full of perks coffee press on but I think this it's uh another fun thing about this is I could use all the different sentiments by doing cards like this and the last set holly jolly everything you're a friend like no other I think that is just great a little Christmas wish and there's no place like gnome for the holidays <laughs> So that's it. I will come back and look at comments and uh, I will put below here, just come back in five minutes, give me five minutes to get the connection up of where you can go download the PDF. And then over in the back porch stampers, that is my Facebook group. I'll put a link to that too. Cause if you're not a member there, I'm going to put a picture of what we did today. And then I ask people to post if they're going to use any of these card layout ideas to post what they do because I just love to see what we all do with the same ideas and then we make it our own. That's, you know, we're more creative together than we are separately. So thanks for spending this time with me. Uh, oh, Teresa said, show the open one more time. I would be glad to do that. This one is a regular card. And this one is a regular card. This was that tear and fold or just cut and fold. This opens like this, the drop down. And this opens like this. 
So we have a couple of these that are fun folds. And those are always fun because just a little bit different when somebody gets a card to kind of see that. So thanks. And if you enjoyed this, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and, and uh, see other videos. I do. I post um, my Facebook replays here, but I also do post different unique videos here on YouTube. So thanks again. And have a wonderful day. Um, I'm not sure how to turn this off. So. <laughs> I think you just turn off the power and it'll be fine. No. <laughs> Push X. It's afraid if it turns off the power, then the whole video will be deleted. So thanks for uh, watching our struggle as um, <laughs> content creators. <laughs> okay. Let's okay. This no, we're not oh. done yet. <laughs> this may be the longest farewell. Just enjoy the messy table here. Uh, give it to me. He, I, I'm going to take it. So if it disappears, it's on me. Um, I think you just press X. Oh, you want to stop?